Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Samsung Maxima Zoom 145. It's from about 1996. Not long after I did the Samsung Maxima Zoom 125, I uh, found this in a Los Alamos thrift store. It works, the back catch is broken, but the light seals are good, so a piece of tape seals it up just fine. This is going to be a short video since the specs are almost identical to the Maxima Zoom 125. Put the link to the previous video down in the notes. The main difference is the lens. This has a Schneider Kreuznach Xenon 38 to 145 millimeter uh, zoom lens. Still not super bright. It's at 3.7 at 38 millimeters and 10.98 call it 11 uh, when it's fully zoomed to 145 millimeters. It's a complex lens. It's 11 elements in eight groups. Um, the extra zoom reach, 145 versus 125, it's not huge, but it's useful. I haven't done a good comparison, you know, side by side, set them at the same zoom and take the picture but just from the one roll that I ran through the 125, half the shots taken by Monique's uh, four-year-old niece, and the ones I took through this, I think the Schneider lens makes a big difference. One other difference is this takes the CR2 batteries, takes two stacked, and the 125 takes the CR123A, a little bit bigger, this may be a few grams heavier. They're both the uh, daytime quartz date models. That's about it. Um, just look at the previous video for the main specs, then look at the samples uh, from this lens and decide for yourself. Since this is kind of a short one, I'll say a fond farewell to my Nikon AW100 it shot most of the videos for this series. My last trip to the Salton Sea, I lost it somewhere. So one saving grace, so to speak. If somebody finds it at the Salton Sea, they're one of the freaks, myself included, attracted to a weird desolate place like that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna shoot again with this right away, but I think I will do a head-to-head -head comparison at some point. So I'll see you then.